week. So I think right now we're gonna have this week. So on Sunday, when the sausage comes from. down my walls. I wish I could go back. So this is my like latest but favorite lunch. Before you told me, I try to change it all. But and look so at this now. Take pictures with me. Could have then gone so far. And get to see you live for tonight. Does anyone else find that the school day just goes? Look at us now. It's just who we are. And I just know things will never be the same. We're like strangers again, again, again. Strangers again, again, again. We're like strangers again, again, again. And I just know things will never be the same. We're like strangers again. Tried much harder, now all we have are scars. You said we'd get so high, higher up than heaven. You said we'd reach the stars. But look at us now, we could have gone so far. It hurts to realize. Hi, guys, welcome back to my channel and to a Get It All Done video. Today, I'm just going to take you through everything that I'm doing in terms of work, home life, food kids all of it so first off this morning it's probably the way we start most mornings we're going on a dog walk kiki's actually got a play date with her friends bear and buzz i'm trying to see like if she recognizes the names um but it's really nice once a week i meet up with my friends and their dogs for like a dog walk so it's kind of like multitasking because obviously we walk the dogs but then we also have like a really good catch up so we're off to do that now so let's go it's actually a nice day isn't it keeks um so yeah we'll do that first and then i feel like i can carry on with like all my other jobs <laughs> From my window Sun's coming up like the day before You're like a stone on my So I'm back from walking Kiki and I've literally just put everything into the wash like her lead, my jacket, my boots because she got so muddy and I've also had to give her a bath and now hopefully she'll have a little sleep and then in a minute our food shop is arriving for the week so i'll show you guys our meal plan and a grocery haul for this week as well but before i do that i did want to show you something that has completely transformed my nightly skincare routine and it's just a really cool clever concept and they've also said you guys can have an amazing discount it's called skin and me this is the product and it's a very powerful personalized product with active ingredients in it and the way that it works is you basically go online you fill out a very simple questionnaire about your skin about your skin goals um, and then you also give three makeup free photos for their dermatology team to look at they'll read through your notes look at your skin and then they'll come up with a treatment plan and then each month this little product which is called the daily doser will come through your door and what's brilliant about this is it's basically like you're getting expert to look at your skin but without the price tag and without having to go anywhere and without having to like have the wait times of seeing a dermatologist as well so for me i said that i wanted to combat fine lines and wrinkles obviously i'm getting a bit older and i also wanted to have like more radiant skin but whatever your skin goals are if you have acne if you have pigmentation sunspots um whatever it is they will make a treatment plan for you you basically twist the product up until it clicks until it gets to the line and that is exactly how much product you should use so this is brilliant for me because i am terrible for using too much product and when it comes to active ingredients you really do have to be careful fit it into my nightly skincare routine because i'll just wash my face as normal then you put this product on and then you wait about 10 minutes so i'll normally like brush my teeth in between and then you use your normal moisturizer so you're basically getting affordable access to a team 
that are experts. They know exactly what ingredients to combine, what levels to start you on as well. And they do also have regular check-ins with you to monitor your skin and how it's getting on. I also love how personalized it is. It's very tailored to my skin and it's active ingredients that you just cannot buy over the counter yourself. It even has your name on it. And I'm a sucker for anything with my name on it. It's just very easy. Like, you know, exactly what dose to like use each month the next one will arrive a few days before this one finishes so i never worry like i'm gonna run out of product or anything so anyway i would really recommend it if you want to kind of like up your skincare game so i'll put a discount code on screen and in the description down below that will get you your first month of skin and me for three pounds 50 normally it's 24 pounds 99 so you can test it out for three pounds 50 which basically just covers the pharmacy fee i believe um see if you like it see how your skin gets on for that month and then you can continue it or not completely up to you uh, but anyway i'll put all the links in the description down below but i have been loving it and so has my skin i don't make a sound when i shut the door oh, you don't have to wake up food shop has just arrived and rather than put it away I've laid it all out on the table to show you guys a bit of a grocery haul so I'm going to show you our meal plan for the week and then everything that we've bought to make it and whenever I do a grocery haul on this channel I get asked how much did all the food cost you so this week's food shop was 82 pounds but I feel like it's normally between 80 and like 110 depending on if we need cleaning products or laundry products that always kind of like bumps up the price or obviously if we're entertaining which I can't actually remember the last time we entertained we're not having anyone over while the house is like this um, so it's normally like around the hundred pound mark but this week we had quite a few bits in and then also like with the kids they get school dinners um, at school so all of their school dinners for the week is about 22 pounds um, and so that's basically the cost of like feeding our whole family for the week and what we do is we just book a food slot on a Monday and then we don't actually meal plan until Sunday night. So we know we've got that slot. Then on Sunday, Matt and I will literally sit on the couch and say, okay, what do you wanna eat this week? And then we'll do the order then. We've got till 11 p.m. to finish the online order. And then it just arrived. I'm really sorry if you can hear building work in the background, but this is our meal plan. It's magnetic and it lives on the side of our fridge. So I've just written out what we're gonna have this week. So on Sunday, we're having sausage casserole, Monday's lemon chicken, Tuesday, we're having turkey, chili, Wednesday, salmon, rice, and peas. Thursday, we're having food from the freezer. That is our busiest night in terms of clubs. So we're having corn nuggets and a freezer meal for Matt and I. Then we're having omelet and chips and penne ragu on Saturday. So now I'll show you all of the food that I've bought to make all of that. I've kind of grouped it by meal. And then I've also got loads of bits over here in terms of snacks, breakfast, lunches as well. Yeah, so this is everything laid out on our table and I'll link the recipes in the description down below if you wanna check them out. Um, but this is actually a recipe I grew up eating. This is for lemon chicken. So you basically just cover the chicken fillets in flour and then you cook it with capers, um, lemon, a bit of water, and then serve it with rice and the whole family really likes that. It's really lemony. Um, then I'm also making a double batch of turkey chili for Tuesday night. So I'm doubling up so that we can also have this one night next week. Week. I've already got all the spices that I need so I've just ordered like the beans black beans kidney beans some chopped tomatoes and some peppers um, so I'll make that tomorrow then on Wednesday we're having a nice simple one that the whole family loves it's salmon rice and peas we do the salmon marinade which is half honey half soy sauce then I'm using microwavable rice that night which would be nice and easy and we've got frozen peas so that's a great one and Fraser randomly likes to have beans with this dinner as well but he eats it all up so you know whatever you want then we're actually having penne ragu on saturday this is an old hello fresh recipe that we really liked um, so i've got most things that i need for it but i've got some five percent beef some penne and i've got an onion and peppers then we're having a sausage casserole one night so i've got some hex sausages i've got loads of potatoes because we'll serve it on 
like mash um, and I've got like, some carrots and onions in the fridge um, but this is one that I will do in the slow cooker we use like a sausage casserole sachet the Coleman's one but I've actually got that in stock um, so that will be a nice like Sunday dinner um, then a nice easy one one night we're having omelette and chips so I've got some more eggs which also we'll have for breakfast and lunch and stuff um, and then whatever you want in the omelettes maybe peppers onions ham cheese um, whatever the kids want but that's like a really nice easy one that we can make without an oven <laughs> so I've actually got some more sweet potato fries because me and Matt really like these but we do also have the normal fries in the freezer and we just make them in the air fryer so that is pretty much the meals and then one night we're also having food from the freezer on a Thursday when we're super busy then I've also got some bits for lunches we've been loving having avocado um, on bagel with poached eggs and smoked salmon but we've actually got the smoked salmon already I've also got some more beans for the kids because they love it we've got some oat milk for our coffee this smoothie is actually from my son's allergy treatment randomly um, but he kind of does his medicine in this every day then I also got some muffins one thing I can't make without the oven is muffins and the kids really like them so I actually bought some mini muffins that they could have like as part of breakfast or or as a snack I've also got some croissants Caleb loves taking these for snack most of the time the kids have a piece of fruit for a snack at school and something else so Caleb would probably take like an apple and one of these Fraser would take like a banana and like a Belvedere biscuit or an apple and like one of these porridge biscuits they really like these as well I've also got some hummus for after school that they would have with like cut up um, veg so I've got some peppers some cucumber we've got more carrots in the fridge and we do actually have some breadsticks already in stock I got loads of popcorn because we completely ran out and we all really like this especially on a Friday but I also just like to have this as a snack I've also got some crisps we've got some hula hoops and some baked crinklies for after school they normally have um, a packet of crisps and then I want to show you these these are Jackson's favorite like dessert he calls them slimy peaches but they are peaches in juice he really likes this or yogurt which we've actually got and then I've also got some Ritz crackers which could be a snack as well so yeah that is pretty much everything that we ordered this week so I'm just gonna put it all away in the fridge I might give the fridge a really quick clean um, and then just put everything away so then we're all stocked up and sorted for this week latest favorite lunch so it's those Warburton thin bagels avocado smoked salmon and poached egg on top so I'm eating this now although it's only about 11 30 but I have got call with an accountant um, at 12 so I'm just eating it early okay so just eating lunch Matt's been speaking to the builders outside and now we've got a zoom call with an accountant this is like the boring side of the business but equally important um and obviously matt like helps me with the finance because he's like got businesses and stuff he knows a bit more um when it comes to that Good stuff. Opinion. he pretends um so yeah, we're just gonna have this little skype call and then we're actually gonna go out and i need to film something uh, like an instagram job that i'm doing so he's gonna help me take a photo um so yeah let's do this Right, so we've just popped to a shop so that I can get a photo with some laundry products that I'm going to be working with soon on Instagram. So I've got my photographer with me. 
This is him, over right here. Um, you may recognize him. the camera, yeah. So, yes, yeah, so he's gonna take a photo of me, and then we're gonna go and pick up our other car from the mechanics who's in for like a service and MOT. So we're gonna go in. I do get a little bit shy sometimes when you're like trying to talk in store or like take a photo in store because people are probably looking at you thinking, what are you doing? Um, even though I've done this for eight years, it doesn't really get any easier. <laughs> I still feel just as awkward. Um, I'm gonna go and be awkward now. <laughs> <laughs> What's more awkward, I'm going to be taking a photo of her being awkward. <laughs> okay, so I'm back. I've just got changed and we've got the content. We've got the car back as well, but now I need to go and do the school run. Does anyone else find that the school day just goes so quickly? Um, so I need to go and do that now. And I think I'm going to take Kiki with me. It's become like a bit of a routine that she has her morning walk and then she pretty much just chills all day. And then she comes on the school run with me, which she just loves so much because all the kids that come out out of the school show her so much love and there's normally like a couple other dogs at the school run as well so I think I'll take her with me it's quite nice out and then get the kids and bring them all home right, so we've just done the school run we've got Caleb and Jackson back home excuse my beautiful wardrobe in the hallway um, and Fraser staying for a club like late at, at school um, but we we're gonna show them something really excited so I thought I would like film their face because they've not seen this yet so should I say what it is no. Okay, hold on. If you come in, we're going to show you our new bedroom. Oh. Okay, big step. <gasps> Whoa! Look, this is our bedroom. Dad. Look, this is going to be where our clothes go. Yeah. In there. And then this is going to be where Mummy and Daddy's bed is. In here. Oh my gosh, that's going to be a really tall bed. This, this is isn't our bed, Jack. Do you like it? Oh, you think this is the bed? <laughs> this is going to Yeah, we're going to I'm going to sleep up the top, Jax. <laughs> well, that is a bunk bed. bed. Oh, yeah. Climb up this ladder. It's a bunk bed. Is, is it? it? Mummy and Daddy's bunk bed. Right, well, like... you know we're doing these renovations. This, this is a bit of scaffolding, boys. Like, this, this is... Isn't... Are you seeing the light? Yeah. We're going to change that light. But what do you think? This is Mummy and Daddy's room. Yeah, it's like... Do you like it? And then look, this is the balcony. We've got to oh, yeah. get a door yet. Yeah. Do the balcony, isn't it? I don't want to see. Oh my God. Do you like it? Okay, and then for tonight's dinner, I'm making lemon chicken. I grew up eating this recipe. It's just one my mum used to make. So all you need is some flour, some chicken fillets, capers, lemon, and some wine. Or if you don't want to use wine, you can also use just some water. So first off, I'm just coating the fillets in flour. I've actually cut my fillets in half because they were so huge. But this coating kind of like, I don't know, gives them like a really nice texture and it's really lemony. I can't really explain it, but it's really nice. So you coat them and then you actually brown them in a pan. And then once they're all browned, you add in about a cup of wine, maybe 250 ml. Then you add in juice of a whole lemon. And then we also add in capers, which we've drained. Um, and then you just basically put the lid on for about 15 to 20 minutes until the chicken is all cooked. As I said, if you don't want to use wine, you can use water. But the wine, because it cooks, the alcohol does come off of it. And then we serve it with carrots and rice. Right, so dinner is all done and the kids are just hanging out downstairs. I definitely need to tidy up as well. But first, I've come upstairs to Caleb's desk because I actually need to get tonight's video live. It's after five o'clock now. My video goes live at seven and I haven't even uploaded it. I've done a thumbnail, description, tags, all of those things that like are behind the scenes. So it honestly is normally down to the wire. Like it's normally like a last minute type thing. Um, so I'm just gonna watch it one more time and get this video live for tonight and then worry about clean up, clothes for tomorrow, all of that bath bed stuff um so yeah i'm just gonna do that now sidetracked with the kids bath and everything but I'm just about to put it public and just to give you an idea 
is three minutes to seven, so I've done it with three minutes to spare. <laughs> um, yeah, but anyway, we've done it, so now I can focus on like everything else. While wishing for something better, I try to fix things that weren't broken, misunderstandings, and words unspoken. We fall apart, and I won't dare to say. So the two little ones are now in bed. Fraser's still awake, he's watching the Tottenham game. Kiki's just here. And I think I'm basically going to edit this video while I watch TV. We've actually restarted watching Breaking Bad, which we haven't watched for years, but we're loving it again. And then I normally give Kiki like a nice brush in the evening and she loves the massage as well um so yeah i think that's all that i'm gonna get done today i feel like i haven't done much cleaning at all but i have done quite a bit of work so that was a bit of a win but anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and don't forget that that skin and me um discount code and link is in the description and i'll see you in my next one bye guys